Uh, Alan Robinson on the market. Yes. Jeff, you're on the morning show. You had some interesting things to say that I, I totally disagree with. But Spence, because everyone already heard Jeff's. Let's get your take. Well, I already know what you're gonna say. I, I well, let, let's Spence go. I'm, I'm okay. curious, dude. I'll take Alan Robinson for sure. I you fucking know, knew it. Without you know, this guy's I mean, so thirsty for sure. I'm thirsty for a wide Yo, receiver. We might, we might be turning the mic for like sure. this. Yeah. Like I might, we might be both against you. Yeah, bro. It's, it's, okay. I'm dead. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I'm I'll, bro, like, keep talking. We Spence, need you know. a receiver. We need That'd a guy that can go out there and make plays, and that is what Alan Robinson has done in his whole career. When he had Blake Bortles, and he was making plays. He had. Mitch Trubisky and he was making plays. You know he could do it with Jared Goff. I'm not worried about it. And you know he wants to play in Detroit. He wants to play here. Want, if we can get him on a hometown discount, you know that's take, it. Take, that's take, the key. Take a that's, couple, key. that's the key. Hometown take a couple discount. M's off that top, and he immediately turns into the best receiver that we got. All right. So here's my thing. Go ahead, Jeff. Because you're 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 hype. No, you're, that that's facts. Though. I think Spencer just honestly nailed it right on the head for yeah. me. Like, I, it, there are a couple things going to play. I need a. Look at what he's getting because I, I know I'm not signing the deals, but I got to know when I deal what the lines would offer him. Yeah. Then I can make a decision. If it's $16 million per year, fuck no. No. Yeah, that's I, I don't want Allen Robinson. He's going to be 29 years old. The Lions can't get a wide receiver this year, especially I've been on it for that 32 or 34. But hey, like if I like Allen Robinson, like you can't know any person in Detroit. If you're a Lions fan, like you're at least going all right. This guy's yeah. from Detroit. We love people That's that want to be that, here like, from because Detroit. it's someone that wants to be here, and you yeah. don't have that often at all. Like Marcus Williams, if he were to now listen, I don't want him to come to Detroit. But if he were to, it'd be because of the coaching staff. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Allen Robinson would do it because he simply wants to come. City. Yes, yeah. that's what I love. So you know, Allen Robinson, you're welcome. But even last sixteen night, million, I'm sweet during the game, like K cooking. Yeah, 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 bro. Yeah, you know, you know if the day he gets signed, he's gonna hop off the plane with the buffs on, you might know, have oh, the yeah. mink on, walk down, the, banging the, some, the, you know, some PZ or, or yeah, something, yeah, you yeah, know. Yeah. And, Go club in downtown. Yeah. So, <laughs> so that the key word you said that though is the hometown discount. But yes, the other part that makes words. me low, low nervous, and I get that he was in Chicago with like a whole fucking quarterback carousel, no one the fuck is going on. But like yeah. last year's numbers not pretty. Maybe you get him at a discount because of that, dude. Yeah, yeah. yo, for sure. You think so? For sure. It, but but I mean, he's still he's done in the past. He's man. still expected to sign at sixteen per year at minimum. Uh, and let me answer you for that. I think Justin Fields. I, I like Justin, but mm -hmm. he is a mobile quarterback who a sure. lot of the time last yeah. year, his first read a, a lot of the time, dude, their offensive line sucks. He was making shit with Moody A work, though. Mooney. Mooney. Yeah, yeah. And I get that, but Moody, Moody, Moody yeah. turned into his safety blanket almost too much, yeah. like to the point right. where he was and, like, only Mooney. And yeah. that's because they're... Allen Robinson and Mooney are different players. Mooney's going to be the guy across the middle. He's going to be go. the guy running yeah. those five yard outs. Allen's those Michael Thomas routes. Possession While, guy. Yeah. Allen yeah. Robinson's going to be running the, the goes. Slant. The, the curls. Slants, the posts, yeah. you know, and. Yeah, that's not Jared Goff's specialty, but we already got enough guys that are going to be running five yard outs. Braylon, so what, what about Braylon? Edwards? What about Braylon? Would you guys Edwards? sign Braylon Edwards? <laughs> I, I would definitely man. sign Braylon Edwards. You know, he's a great fit, <laughs> great culture guy. You know, I, we're talking about Detroit guys. You know, we can get Braylon in here. Hold down discount. Robinson, the whole time discount. Whole time I'm you, you got there, catch a couple balls. <laughs> <laughs> bro, it's if I'm going out retirement, you're paying me. Well, I'm getting sixty million a year. Well, Man, you gotta pay that man. Uh, I, no, love, I love Brandon. But I get the man. premise of yours as well. Like, you gotta look at it too. It's definitely all about the contract. Yes. But I think, like, he's still somewhat valuable to where we're not gonna be able to afford him. And it's definitely not gonna be worth it because what he offered last year, again, can be a sign of a decline. Yeah. You can get that out of the draft easily. And let me ask you guys this. I want both to answer this because we talked about it on the morning show, and it's an interesting question. If you sign a guy like Allen Robinson, does it benefit you in the draft to not have to take a wide receiver with those first three picks? Because you wait longer and be yes. like, we could take all defense. I see. I don't. It. I don't think so because like, you can still address receiver at any point in the draft. I mean, no, we're, later. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. We're literally coming off a year. Oh, it's fucking. What are you turn to? <laughs> I'm trying to get, I'm trying to get a <laughs> movie. Go. The opposite of what this guy been saying all year, man. Oh, what let's do you mean? Call him out. No, I'm just like because you. You're always talking about we don't need a receiver in the first couple drafts. We can wait for it. And yeah, if, no, if no, you, I said for, I was saying first rounds like the you, you wanted one earlier like one of those yeah, like, yeah, like pretty yeah. flashy ones. I'm saying you can get them fucking a dime a dozen like any round. You know yeah, what and, like, that, but, and and literally for that argument to be the case, we're coming off a year where Amon Ross St. Brown, a fucking fourth round pick, came through and you, shined. When you're the you, only guy. Like it's, that, not, that, it's, it's not hard. and it's not an yeah. anomaly because Tyreek Hill fourth round pick, fucking Antonio Brown fifth round pick. Fucking Devonta Adams is the best receiver in the league right now. I get you. Second round pick. I get you. you know what I'm saying like these dudes come any round, so it's not you don't have to spend the first three on a receiver. You don't have to, but like what Jeff was saying, it definitely helps if you sign an Allen Robinson. Then you don't have that pressure of how does it hurt? 
that's too much fucking money to get. Minimum. Okay, let's say like a, a little bit of a discount. Well, we won't say sixteen. What, million. But what's the discount? Maybe like you get them for like because thir- well, thir- thir- thirteen. Have, uh, maybe thirteen's a better yeah, number. No. Maybe it's like fuck. Maybe no. it's like eleven with incentives. You get to like thirteen. You keep I saying us, we have, we you keep have, saying you want us to rebuild and want us to get these free age. Who are we, who do you want us to spend this money on? If it's not Ellen Robinson, right now like this that. year, yeah, fucking gap hole. We're st- this is year two of a rebuild. Yeah, you know I, I won't be mad if we they don't, don't have to fucking like go for the kill right now because we're not kill ready. Ellen yes. Robinson, if, if, if we jumped kill. in the fuck, huh? Ellen Robinson's not going for the kill. You're paying him eleven million dollars. You better be fucking going for the kill. That's, that's too much money. That's bringing in. A, have, that's bringing in a, a playmaker. Didn't look like a playmaker last year. And, and let's give you this. That two. Chicago Bears this, offense this was, was terrible. fucking terrible. Nineteen million dollars is our cap space. Yeah. That we're working with. Yes. You so remember what Scott you was talking give, about? You want to give a guy coming that off a bad fake, year, bro? And, and, and listen, I won't argue with you about that because I, I can, I'd be lying it's, if I said I'd be it's okay fake with spending money because like you get guys like incentive, like how we saw Josh means, Reynolds yeah, incentive and, contracts. And you can cut guys. But, and but Robinson's Robinson's not Josh Reynolds. You know what I'm saying he can still get. More than fucking twelve million. Yeah, easily. you don't give mm-hmm. Allen Robinson an incentive base. Yeah, contract. you know what I'm saying that's not. But you cut Trey Flowers, him. and how the hell did, are, were the Saints forty million dollars over the cap? Like, how like, does that even? Like, I just don't understand. Like, why? Like, you want to give eleven million of our we're, we're cap strapped? You want to give eleven million to one guy who's been banged up, coming off a bad season, and we just got a fucking guy, and we got to sign our rookies in the fourth round. We have Cephas coming back. Like, yeah, Brad Holmes is going to find us a receiver. No, let me and let me tell you because I honestly I agree with you. I, yeah. I really do. I, I be, if you're discussing Allen Robinson, my point is, would you like Allen Robinson if he was on the lines? Would I have a problem with it? No. And I would I would sit here and be like, okay, how much did you sign him for? And if it is a ridiculous amount, I actually I've said anything all over year, double digits for me is like I, no. I've, I've said this entire so far up until the draft. You're not gonna get a good player for. Under- I don't want us to spend money. Don't yeah, spend money this year, please don't. Uh. Of the draft. Don't spend money. I'm yeah. okay with you. Don't spend any money because you have to sign your rookies, save your cap space. You're going to cut Trey Flowers probably. Mm-hmm. If you don't mm-hmm. re-sign Charles Harris, assuming you tr- address those positions in the draft, then build the cap space. Because people talk about Marcus Williams and Allen Robinson. To all that, I say, fuck it. All right, don't sign nobody. But I just like Allen Robinson because he's from Detroit. You know, I, maybe I have more interest no, in for him. for sure. I think that's but like, I don't think they should spend a fucking dime. Yeah. My, my thought is get depth. Get Because yeah. last year, what was our problem? When yes. guys were hurt, we were pulling – you know, shit out of nowhere. Yeah, when we found some studs, we found Dre yeah. Jacobs. Yeah. We found some good guys, but I want this Craig year Reynolds. depth. You need some depth. Yeah, and that's really all I, I think they should do. I, I, I agree with you. Kill because we're not ready to kill yet. I think yeah. seven to nine games is reasonable. I but mean, Josh, next year is that fuck, that year. Like, we're not going to be ready to kill until we have a quarterback. I think you can win your honestly. If we build a team, though, we with Jared, I think build. you can win some games. If you build it, they will come. But yes. like you look at these teams um, that are <laughs> built that don't have quarterbacks. You you know the no, Broncos yeah. before they got Russ, the Colts. You know all these teams that have great pieces. And that's, ridic- and that's when built well, teams you go for the kill. And that's when you trade all your assets. Yeah, but what about the Titans? The Titans. Yeah, it's the same kind of thing. They won the AFC with Tanny, yeah. Tannehill, Hill, yeah. and, and they had pieces. But if they ever found their quarterback, they just boop. If they Dude. find that they, got Yo, they, they should trade it for us. Yeah, yeah. That's the team that should trade it for us. That would be nasty. I know that Aaron Rodgers. You know, he bought a house in Nashville. So people are talking about maybe him going to. He uh, a, house in a lot of a lot of people buy house in Nashville. Yeah, Nashville yeah like, so I'm mean, well, yeah, thinking if you went to. Hat, I was thinking about if you went to Tennessee. Like, may I take your hat, sir? <laughs> <laughs> may I take your hat, sir? <laughs> what about uh? What about uh? Deshaun Watson. What do you think is going on with Deshaun Watson? You want the Lions? No. To be make a play for Deshaun Watson? Yes. Give me some ganja. 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 Give me some